everyone. My name is Titi Adewale, and it is my honor to be here this morning. I'm so blessed uh, and thankful for this opportunity to worship with you this morning. Uh, it is the second Sunday of the last month of the year 2022, and we are here at TKP. Uh, again, we are here, 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, and I'm so honored to be here. I'm so thankful. Uh, it's it's been a wonderful year, and uh, we're here again by the grace of the Almighty God. Um, please make sure that you come to church this morning. We are waiting and ready and getting everything prepared to praise this mighty God. The theme for this month is From Glory to Glory, and if you missed last week's uh, service, you need to go listen to it and watch it. It was amazing. We had Apostle Shita. He preached from glory to glory. And he reminded us it's just not from glory to glory. God is also taking us from strength to strength and from faith to faith. And so uh, the glory of our later days, yes, will surpass our former days. This is December of 2022. It's going to be even greater than last year, December 2021. I hope you believe that. And again, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Not only is it Christmas month, it's also our amazing 168 hours of praise. And we are all getting ready. You can see my hoodie. I'm getting ready. Um, get yours uh, from the church office if you need one so that you can be a part of this amazing program. And also to prepare for that, we are always... Um, we're led by the uh, amazing pastor to prepare spiritually for this uh, service. And it's by seven by seven prayers. This starts on the 17th uh, all the way till the 23rd from 6 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. We're going to be praying and preparing and just anointing the altar of God for this amazing program. And our, as far as the 168 hours of praise itself, we're going to be talking more about it and giving you more information and prepping you, and we hope that you are getting ready as well. Uh, today, I'm going to have a guest, a special guest, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about how you can get ready and how you can plug in to prepare for 168 hours of praise. In the meantime, we want you to quicken your steps and come on to church this morning. Uh, we're going to have a wonderful service. Of course, our first service starts at 9 a.m., more 8.55 a.m., and uh, second service starts at 10 a.m. So we want you to get ready. Join us online if you cannot make it physically to church. But if you can, come on by, and we're going to have a great time in the presence of God. Stay tuned. I have a We have a word coming up. Uh, the charge is coming up really quickly. And so uh, just stay tuned for that. See you Join millions of thankful hearts as we celebrate, jubilate, and appreciate God for all He's done in 168 hours of non-stop, victorious, super mega praise and worship in diverse languages with diverse dance steps from diverse races worshiping Jesus Christ the Lord. You are invited to experience the best of praise, worship, and thanksgiving as we wrap up this year with 168 hours of praise running 24 hours for 7 days non-stop from December 24th at 10 p.m. to December 31st at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. This event shall feature several anointed worship leaders and gospel artists from different regions of the world, featuring Pastor Hope David, Gabriel Aziashi, Tunde Alameru, Ranti Awana, Pastor I.T. Denise, Adeshla Oguntamein, Funke Akinakun, Femi Micah, Sandra Martins, Ronke Adeshakan, the TKP Orchestra, Jesutome Olufua, the Kingdom Voices, Bidame Oladale, Buki Alameru, Rosemary Orisomenabo, Usolo Ajayi, Stacy Egbo, Inko Famuwa, Tommy Favor, and Peter Adeshala and Shay Alice on sax. This is an outstanding yearly event with physical location at the main auditorium of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, located at 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, 77493. You can join the event virtually as we will be streaming via multiple social media platforms. You can also join us by visiting any of our viewing centers or even start your own watch party anywhere all over the world. If you have interest in hosting a viewing center or wanting to start a watch party for any segment of the event, please send an email to info at 168hoursofpraise.org. For more information, please visit www.168hoursofpraise.org. Get ready and let's come together to experience another session of divine glory and bliss. Jesus is Lord.
Hello, everyone, and good morning. Welcome to another episode of Arise. Here today, we have me, Oni Egbuna. I'm going to be giving the charge for today. Before I begin, let us pray. Father Lord, we just thank you for this time in your presence. We thank you for your word that you have given out. We pray that your word will come mightily to everyone who hears it, O oh God. Father Lord, we pray that you will speak to me, O oh Lord, and that this message will reach the people that it needs to reach father god let us all be changed renewed and refined by your word O lord in jesus name amen Alrighty, good morning everyone and today the theme um, that i'm going to be speaking based on is our theme for the month of december which is from glory to glory and we have a text here second corinthians 3 verse 18 and it says and we all with unveiled face beholding the glory of the lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another for this comes from the lord who is the spirit so what does it really mean to go from glory to glory we see it in our text here where it says we are transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another so that means it means that we're continuously improving we're continuously increasing in glory and so to increasingly increase in glory what does that really mean it means to be continually be changed it means to be changed into who you were created to be we were all created in the image of God and so that means our character our attitude our emotions the way we carry ourselves it should all reflect the king of glory and so Romans 12 verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good acceptable and perfect and so we see here that the world that we live in is not who we should be conforming to the world that we live in is not who we should be looking to how we should act how we should think what we should do instead we should be looking to God about who we should be who we should act like and so if you find yourself trying to look like the world and less like God that means it's a time of reflection It's a time where you need to go back to God and ask him God who are you really because I am getting confused I'm losing your character I'm losing focus and God would direct you back to him but to go from glory to glory it means you have to continuously be changing you cannot get comfortable in your current state so you might say Oni I hear what you're saying man I've been a believer all my life I've been going to church I've been serving I've been doing this but what my question to you is are you continuously changing or are you just doing religion because if you are just doing religion you're not having a relationship with God a relationship with God means that you are continuously pruning cutting out things of your flesh and becoming more and more like Jesus but if all you're doing is doing religion doing church and just going so that people can see that you're being a Christian but in your heart you're far away from, far away from God that you are not increasing in glory you are not going from glory to glory instead you are staying stagnant and a stagnant person is not a person that God wants to use God wants to use somebody who is humble somebody who wants to sacrifice for him somebody who wants to go from glory to glory somebody who wants to change you have to have a change mindset a mindset that wants to continuously grow in Christ and to continuously go in Christ is to allow him to renew your mind and so the next thing that I want us to look at is 2 Corinthians verse 5 verse 17 it says therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creature the old has passed away behold the new has come can you say that about yourself can you look at yourself and say man the old things that I used to do when I was not a believer when I didn't believe in God when I was far away from his presence can you say man those things are behind me those things are gone I'm no longer that person I am now a new creation in Christ that is what it means to go from glory to glory is to not go back to your old ways to your old patterns but instead to allow God to continuously change you to who he has created you to be God has all created us to 
for a divine purpose for a divine reason and so if you do not even know your purpose here on this earth that means you need to go back to God and ask him God I am fully ready to serve you fully ready to be who you have created me to be I don't want to be who everybody else wants me to be but I want to be who you have created me to be and I pray that the Lord will reach you in this moment that he will speak to you mightily that he will expose the areas that you have been hiding uh, from other people from yourself that that you have been trying to cover up and I pray the Lord will expose those areas so that you can be created who into who he wants you to be so that you can go from that that level of stagnancy to a level that has become a rising and shining for his glory and I pray that the Lord will reach you today this morning and I pray that as we continuously go through the different services this morning and hear the different messages that the Lord has for us this morning that the Lord will reach you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Father Lord we just thank you for everyone here who is listening to your message who has heard the message oh God who has heard your voice uh, who has heard that you are telling us today that we should go from one glory to another level of glory that we should not become stagnant in our faith but instead each and every day we should arise thank you Jesus for we know know that you are speaking to each and every one of us in this moment father god we pray that this word will not go to deaf ears oh god but that you will hear each and every one of us oh god that we will hear you clearly oh god and we will answer the call that you are calling on our lives father in jesus name amen thank you so much for listening to this powerful message from the lord i pray that you will not go home the same today that you will take something from this message and use it for his glory in jesus name Amen. Join millions of thankful hearts as we celebrate, jubilate, and appreciate God for all He's done in 168 hours of non-stop, victorious, super mega praise and worship in diverse languages with diverse dance steps from diverse races worshiping Jesus Christ the Lord. You are invited to experience the best of praise, worship, and thanksgiving as we wrap up this year with 168 hours of praise running 24 hours for 7 days non-stop from December 24th at 10 p.m. to December 31st at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. This event shall feature several anointed worship leaders and gospel artists from different regions of the world, featuring Pastor Hope David, Gabriel Aziashi, Tunde Alameru, Ranti Awana, Pastor I.T. Denise, Adeshla Oguntamein, Funki Akinakun, Femi Micah, Sandra Martins, Ronke Adeshakan, the TKP Orchestra, Jesutome Olufua, the Kingdom Voices, Bidame Oladule, Buki Alameru, Rosemary Orisomenabo, Usolo Ujai, Stacy Egbo, Inko Famuwa, Tommy Favor, and Peter Adeshala and Shay Alice on sax. This is an outstanding yearly event with physical location at the main auditorium of the Redeemed Christian Church of God the King's Palace, located at 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, 77493. You can join the event virtually as we will be streaming via multiple social media platforms. You can also join us by visiting any of our viewing centers or even start your own watch party anywhere all over the world. If you have interest in hosting a viewing center or wanting to start a watch party for any segment of the event, please send an email to info at 168hoursofpraise.org. For more information, please visit www.168hoursofpraise.org. Get ready and let's come together to experience another session of divine glory and bliss. Jesus is Lord. Welcome back to Arise at TKP. Uh, I'm so glad that you are preparing to be at church this morning. That was a wonderful uh, charge from our sister, Sister Oni. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. So uh, once again, uh, welcome to Arise. And I am so honored this morning to be joined by my beautiful sister. I'm so honored to have her in the studio this morning. She is an anointed child of God. She is a minister of music and the word of God. I am so blessed that she's here and she's going to be our guest of honor this morning. I respect you and thank you so much for joining us today, Sister Jason Tomei Olufua. Thank you, Sister. God bless you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. We are, the excitement is off the roof. Like I am so excited about this time of the year. It is exciting, it's exciting to gather together to praise God. Can you imagine, there is no place in the world that this happens. And God has honored us 
to host this. And once again, we're here. Seven days of worshiping God for 24 hours. 160,000 praise. How are you feeling about that? What do you think? <laughs> I am super excited. You know, I'm always looking forward to the end of the year. Yes. Where we have to gather together and just praise God. Just God has been him. so good to us. Yes. I mean, irrespective of how that had happened in the year. Mm -hmm. You know, he still kept us by his grace Amen. and mercy. So I'm always very excited being in the presence <laughs> of God, just giving him praise. Amen. Because I know that praising him, praising him also secures the next year that's right yeah. so it's very important that we end the year with praise that's right yep thank you so much and we mm -hmm. should not come to the presence of god without expectations mm -hmm. i have a lot of expectations yeah. one of mine would be just experiencing the tangible presence of god when it's palpable the, the palpable awareness of god yeah. you know um that's one of my things and i feel like once you are in the presence of god everything is settled mm -hmm. in the spiritual realm and the physical realm you can just rest and just bask in that ambience. So what are your expectations for 168 of this year of 2022? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I'll go by the scriptures. It should be Second Chronicles 7. The Bible talked about the glory of God. So for me this year, I'm expecting the magnificent presence of God yes. and his glory. Amen. It's, um, we cannot, that's all we need. That's all we need. When the glory of God fills the temple, when it fills the place, you know, we just, um, how do I put it? We will experience him in a new way, in a new dimension. So I'm expecting that mag magnificent presence Amen. of his glory this year. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Mm -hmm. Amen. So another thing that I look forward to with 168 Hours of Praise is I learned so many new songs. Yeah. And because we have a lot of guest ministers that come and they bring us new songs. Sometimes we're even learning those songs right there on stage when they're yeah. backing up. <laughs> and then you go back and you listen, you're like, wow, that's amazing. So uh, that's one of the things I'm looking for. Tell us about those ministers coming. How many people are coming and, you know, what should we what is just tell us more maybe their names and we can maybe go back and look up their, their songs and learn them ahead of time okay so to the glory of god i think one of the things i'm so grateful to god for this year is we have so many ministers as a matter of fact um i don't think we have space for ministers oh <laughs> i'm telling you because um we had a list according to sister Ronti, we had a list you know everybody just wanting to come in to minister wow. and that is just to tell you that god is really working yes, you know is. god is really really working so going by that we have so many of them coming in i know um pastor hope davis is coming in yes. i know gabriel Uziashi, pastor gabriel Uziashi yes. is coming in i know uh, minister Saite. sandra Martins is coming in. I know Pastor Haiti is coming. We have so many of them. And of course, they are, most of the time, they come with new songs. Yes, they do. The good thing about this is, even when you are sleeping, you are still singing some of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, because yes. it just sticks to you. It's inside Absolutely. of you. So even when you think you are sleeping, yeah. you can still hear it in your spirit. Yes. The song ministering to you. So we have yes. so many of them coming in this year. Fantastic. Yeah, to the glory of God. And it's given us, going to pave the way for next yes. year and so yes. many uh, more programs. Yes. yes. So that's yes. wonderful. So again, preparing for this 168 hours of praise, mm -hmm. a lot of people are asking, what can we do? What do we need to do to get ready? And how can we get involved? And so many questions are coming in and we keep um trying to answer those questions and I know you have some advice for us today uh, on how to prepare for that so I wanted to ask you so tell us the viewers how do we prepare for the program um, for me I actually thought about hey I want to go back and maybe log in and watch some of the sessions from last year mm -hmm. and um, trying to get my spirit going and I mean we sing all year long but still it's just a new feeling when you have that plane in your house and it's just wonderful so how what else can we do to get ready Okay, so I would say that um, you don't come to the presence of God um, without expecting to receive from him. So for you to receive, you have to be very prepared. Right. So the spiritual preparedness is very, very important. Okay. You have to be very, very prepared spiritually yes. and also physically. If it's possible for you to, I mean, make out time, hmm. even if you're at work, just ensure that you are connected. Yes. Make out time for God. It's very, very important. You have to be physically prepared. You have to be spiritually prepared. And talking about being involved, you can be involved in so many ways. Yes. So many ways. We have social media platforms. If you want to share, mm -hmm. you know, just share around the world. Like, bless someone with it. Yes. And there are so many other things that you can do, whether on site, whether online or anything. There are so many things that you can do, Absolutely. you know, for 168 hours. But the most of it is you have to be prepared. Be prepared to receive. Be prepared 
to be blessed by the Lord. Absolutely. Amen. That's awesome. And to get more information, go to info at rccgthekingspalace.org. There are so many details on there that can give you information on, de- on just information that you need. That's very, very helpful. You can also reach out to us in the church office as well. So you've heard it all. Get ready. It's starting December 24th of 2022. We're going to be praising and worshiping the mighty God through 168 hours of praise. So this morning, we are getting ready for service. I hope you are ready. We have just a couple of minutes. Uh, so hasten your steps to church this morning. And if you're logging in online, please gather your family, your friends, everyone, and let us praise him together. Thank you so much, Sister Fumi. I t- Thank you, Sister <laughs> I'm giving you a new name this morning. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, sis. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless All you. All right. Have a blessed day, guys. All right. About a year ago, we heard the testimony of Dr. Tomalona Ifaleo's journey to becoming a 24-year-old medical doctor. Today, in collaboration with RCCG The King's Palace Media Team, Katy, Texas, we present Tomatalks Medicine, Your Answers in 5. In this YouTube series, Dr. Ifaleo focuses on one medical topic and explains 5 points in 5 minutes. Be open-minded as she walks you through the journey of how to be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Kindly subscribe to the channel, Tommy Talks Med, or visit tinyurl.com slash Tommy Talks Med. Also, you can follow her on TikTok and Instagram at Tommy Talks Med. God bless you. Join millions of thankful hearts as we celebrate, jubilate, and appreciate God for all He's done in 168 hours of non-stop victorious super mega praise and worship in diverse languages with diverse dance steps from diverse races worshiping Jesus Christ the Lord. You are invited to experience the best of praise, worship, and thanksgiving as we wrap up this year with 168 hours of praise running 24 hours for 7 days non-stop from December 24th at 10 p.m. to December 31st at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. This event shall feature several anointed worship leaders and gospel artists from different regions of the world, featuring Pastor Hope David, Gabriel Aziashi, Tunde Alameru, Ranti Awana, Pastor I.T. Denise, Adeshla Oguntemeng, Funke Akinakun, Femi Micah, Sandra Martins, Ronke Adeshakan, the TKP Orchestra, Jesutome Olufua, the Kingdom Voices, Bidame Oladale, Buki Alameru, Rosemary Orisomenabo, Usolo Ujai, Stacy Egbo, Inko Famuwa, Tommy Favor, and Peter Adeshala and Shea Yalis on sax. This is an outstanding yearly event with physical location at the main auditorium of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace, located at 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas, 77493. You can join the event virtually as we will be streaming via multiple social media platforms. You can also join us by visiting any of our viewing centers or even start your own watch party anywhere all over the world. If you have interest in hosting a viewing center or wanting to start a watch party for any segment of the event, please send an email to info at 168hoursofpraise.org. For more information, please visit www.168hoursofpraise.org. Get ready and let's come together to experience another session of divine glory and bliss. Jesus is Lord.